My dear people, last time I talked about African folk songs and we realized that a folk song is a song of the people. Today I want to talk about African folk dances. A folk dance is a dance performed by people. Like a folk song, the dance also reflects the cultural, musical traditions of the people. It's important to isolate folk dances from creative dances as there is always a tendency to mistake the two in school uh, co-curricular activities. Uh, in addition to what has been considered in a folk song category, uh, the following points, my dear people, should also be at your fingertips. One, dance and song are complementary. That's very important. Again, entry and exit are part and parcel of the dance and should be quick and precise to capture the audience. Because when we look at a folk song, you can take your coin on stage, do introduction on stage and start performing, which is totally different when we come to folk songs, whereby then uh, we find that the introduction is done before the start of the performance. The participants should utilize the stage properly and be able to adapt to that given stage. That's why you need to go and look, observe the stage uh, first before you bring your performance. Again, you need to choose a soloist who is tonally powerful because he or she is the leader, is the director of the performance. Because this is a folk dance, you need, there is, uh, you need to consider seriously the synchrony of body movements. Again, you need to consider the mastery of dance skills. Again, you need to consider seriously authenticity of dance styles. Why am I saying this? As I uh, told you when I was talking about uh, African folk songs is that behind these folk songs, behind these uh, uh, folk dances, there are communities and we must uh, be faithful to their cultural idiom. So the authenticity of dance styles in a folk dance uh, is very, very important. Again, we look at the costume. Because in a dance, the costume is very, very important. So we look at the costume uh, design. So it must have the cultural touch. Two, it must enhance the performance. Three, it must be decent. So decent in a folk dance is very very important. Uh, again, we look at while on stage, while performing on stage, we look at the variety of dance styles and pattern formation. Variety of dance style and pattern formations. How are you moving from one movement to another, from one pattern to another? So here we look at the transition. Is it smooth or what? Again now, in a dance, communication is very, very important. Communication is very important. So communication where dance and song are one and the same thing. We need to know that. Communication should be... Uh, dance and song are just one thing. Uh, there is also what we call uh, euphemistic dances. Example, there is kuti, where the emphasis on the note of actual 
instruments. Because you cannot just have a, a, a scooty dance without having the, the scooty drums. Eh? You need to consider that. Again now, we look at the flow. Change of song, dance style and rhythm should be smooth uh, in transition. And my dear people, I want to give uh, uh, a rather uh, general points as far as the folk dances are concerned. As I said in the beginning, the introduction should be brief and clear, whereby we need to avoid dramatic introductions. Uh, again, we need to select a dance, uh, select a dance your members can execute effectively. Don't choose very complicated dances, uh, a very uh, complicated dance whereby the dance movement the patterns are very complicated. So if you must use two soloists, my dear people, if you must use two soloists, use them purposefully. Again, individual display should not be overdone. Avoid exaggeration. Uh, again, give the title of the dance and the community that would gauge you properly. Uh, we need to avoid these dances with acrobatic effects. That's in a music festival. My dear people, desist issuing instruction during performance. Some of the trainers do that. They go at the back of the audience and, and start issuing instructions to the performance. It brings a lot of confusion. It brings a lot of confusion during the, the performance. Rehearse adequately for a refined artistic rendition and then create a convincing climax. Remember, this is a folk dance. And lastly, my people, you need to employ controlled instrumentation. And this will enhance your performance. Thank you very much for listening to me.